Hey guys and welcome to sunny California. Today we're actually going to be visiting Glendale, which is located about 10 miles north from downtown Los Angeles. And it's also the place where I'm residing at at the current moment. And the reason that we're visiting this place today is because a lot of people who come to Los Angeles or go to visit Hollywood or even California, well, they don't think about Glendale. And it's definitely a place that's worth visiting because there's a lot of really cool things to see and it's a really cool and nice clean place too. So let's check it out. Glendale is a city in the Verdugo Mountains region of Los Angeles County, California, and the fourth largest city in Los Angeles County. As for climate, Glendale has a Mediterranean climate with hot summers and mild to warm winters with occasional rainfall. Here's something that I wanted to highlight in Glendale is the Glendale Central Park. And yeah, the park is not the biggest, but it is very quaint. And also I wanted to highlight the fact that in Glendale, there's a lot of these small little green areas, a little bit everywhere, all over the residential areas. And the fact that they have these little green places where you can just relax, meditate, or just go for a little walk is really cool and shows once again that Glendale is a really great area. This is another highlight of the Central Park. Adjacent to it, they actually have the Glendale Central Library, which is basically the public library of Glendale. And the reason that I am actually highlighting it is that the building is really huge. And also, one thing that I do love about public libraries is the fact that you're able to check out books, DVDs, Blu-rays. You can even have a streaming service to even go on the internet. And it's all free. The Glendale Central Library is part of seven library branches used as part of the Glendale Public Library System in Glendale. These libraries offer many services to its patrons, both at the central locations as well as its branches including classes on various software such as Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, in addition to their exemplary popular computer club for beginners. If you're ever in this area, there's one place that you definitely must go and visit, and it's the Mona, which is basically the Museum of Neon Art, which was established in 1981, and it's actually the first electric museum that is fully dedicated to neon signs, to the preservation of old historic signs, to neon electric art, and all the good stuff that can be electrified and lit up. And it's really a beautiful building, and it's also located in a really great area, which is basically right next to the Glendale Mall and the Americana, so there's really no excuse not to go there. The Museum of Neon Art is an institution that exists to encourage learning and curiosity through the preservation, collection, and interpretation of neon art. The collection includes neon signs from the Brown Derby and Grauman's Chinese Theater, including kinetic art and outstanding examples of historic neon signs. In addition to exhibitions and tours, the museum offers introductory classes in glass bending held in the museum's state-of-the-art studio. Here's something Thing that I really want to highlight every time that I see art and is the fact that well pretty much everywhere I go there's often a lot of places where they actually maybe decorate things that wouldn't be decorated with art with art in order to make it blend a little bit better with the aesthetics of the city and this is basically a perfect example of it and Glendale has a lot of that and if they didn't decorate it this would just be an ugly little structure something that basically is in order for maintenance people to come in and then basically maintain the electricity or the plumbing or whatever is inside here but now that it's decorated it actually looks like a really cool piece and makes the city just look much more pleasant and much more nice to visit. Art on the various utility boxes around the city is actually part of a program supported by the city of Glendale called Beyond the Box. Now in its sixth year, the program aims to beautify the city's streetscape with colorful and interesting murals installed by selected artists on city-owned utility boxes. To date, murals over 100 boxes have been completed by the program, which has been very well received by residents and visitors to Glendale. Here we are in one of my favorite places in Glendale, which is basically Brand Boulevard. And why is it one of my favorite places? Well, basically because it is the commercial district of downtown Glendale. And this is the place where there's all the shops, all the bakeries, all the restaurants, all the cool places to go to. So if you're ever here in Glendale, why wouldn't you go to the place to be? Now, this is definitely a rare sight in California. And it's the fact that there's a fountain right here. And me being European, I'm used to seeing a lot of fountains around the city. So now that there is one in Glendale and I can actually see it and visit it, it just warms my heart. Here's a building that really deserves 
to actually have a spotlight in this video, and that is the Alex Theater. Being a historical building, it was built in 1925, and originally they used to perform a lot of vaudeville in this theater, but nowadays it's actually owned by the city of Glendale, and it is the center for cultural events, theatrical events and basically the center for culture here in Glendale. So if you're ever in this area, be sure to go visit it for the performances, for the culture, but also because it is such a beautiful, beautiful historical building. The unique interior has distinct neoclassic Greek and Egyptian architectural elements. A long walkway and courtyard separating the ticket booth from the lobby was inspired after the famous Grauman's Egyptian Theatre in Hollywood. The theater's diverse schedule boasts roughly 250 events per year and attracts more than 100,000 patrons annually. Grand Boulevard has a lot of restaurants, but if I had to choose my number one pick, it would be Porto's Bakery and Cafe. Basically, it's a Cuban restaurant and cafe that offers sandwiches, baked goods, pastries, and I would just recommend going there because the prices are good, the people are friendly, and even though it's pandemic and there's usually uh, restaurants struggling with getting customers. As you can tell, there's a line outside. So that really proves how good it is. I got an order at Porto's just to show you guys, but this is basically the potato meatballs. As you can tell, they look, uh, well, it's a ball with potatoes. And uh, yeah, then there's also a sandwich right here. This is a chicken sandwich. Everything cost me only $10.70, which, um, I mean, to eat out, this is like unbeatable prices. So, yeah, let's taste it and see how it tastes. Mmm, it's so good. It's amazing. I wish you guys could actually taste this, but um, I guess that'll be an excuse for you guys to go to Gundale. But um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my meal. Portos has gradually grown into five existing locations in Glendale, Burbank, Downey, Buena Park, and West Covina with a sixth location in Northridge on the way. In 2006, Portos took the number one spot on Yelp's top 100 places to eat in the US. In the spirit of keeping things cultural in Glendale, I wanted to highlight the Glendale Center Theatre, which has existed here in Glendale for 73 years, but because of the pandemic, they've had to close down. But the owners are hoping that eventually they will find someone that will want to buy it and continue this legacy of the theatre here. And I do want to highlight it because, once again, I know that we've been stuck at home, but the thing is, is that we're humans and we need social stuff and I love theater, I love going to places and this was such a great place. They had a theater in the round which often had children's shows with interaction, also adult shows and musicals and many many different things but this was really a great place. I saw many great plays here and I really hope that it gets to have a future somehow. The Americana truly is a place to visit when you're in Glendale. As you can tell, it's super clean. It is just a beautiful, beautiful place to be at. There's shops, there's music, there's uh, just a lot of things happening right here. On an interesting note, they actually have condominiums right here, which means that people can buy properties that are in the Americana, but they are super luxurious and expensive. They start out at the lower 500,000s and they can go up to I don't know how much money, but they are beautiful. There's even penthouses and I'm sure that they have pools and amenities and all these beautiful things. But uh, personally, I don't know if I would want to live at the Americana. It is an interesting concept, but I do think it would be a little bit too busy. But as someone walking here and shopping and just relaxing, it is a beautiful, beautiful place. The Americana at Brand is a large shopping, dining, entertainment and residential complex in Glendale comprised of 82 retail shops and various restaurants. The architectural style of the Americana reflects the brick factory facades of the industrial area with its massive elevator shaft with exposed steel beams. In addition to the Americana at Brand's upscale shops, restaurants, a movie theater, and the outdoor mall, it features a fountain called Waters of Americana, designed by a water feature design firm called WET. The musical fountain, located in the Central Landscape Park, performs every hour on the hour, though a non-musical program runs between shows. The statue is a replica of Donald Deleuze's 1949 Spirit of American Youth Sculpture in France, a memorial to Americans who fought at Normandy in World War II. 
The Glendale Galleria is huge. It might not be an outdoor mall, kind of like the Americana, where you can enjoy the California weather and where you can enjoy the beautiful decorations and the fountains and all that, but it is a super big mall. It is very big. There's a lot of stores, there's food, there's pretty much whatever you would expect and want from a mall. So if you're looking for a place to shop, the Glendale Galleria is certainly the place to do it. One thing that I really appreciate about downtown Glendale city area is that there is ample free parking pretty much all over. One of the best places to get nice shaded parking is usually at the Glendale Galleria. Once there, getting to the Americana and the shopping street on Brad is a quick 2-3 minute walk. This is something that pretty much everybody knows about America. Well, distances are pretty huge between one place and the other. Well, in Glendale we have Brand Boulevard and as you can tell in the back, there's cars. And Brand Boulevard is known for have a lot of auto car dealerships, which sell new cars, used cars, certified used cars, pretty much any brand that you want. So yeah, Glendale is not just a suburb and known for shopping and all the cool places, it's also known for the place to go if you want to buy a car. I couldn't do a vlog about Glendale if I didn't actually pass by the most known bakery in Glendale, which is Arts Bakery, and they do superb pastries. And me being European, well, I do love my pastries, so I couldn't resist going inside and getting a pastry for myself. And uh, I got myself a couple of pastries right here, and this is uh, one of the eclairs, and as you can tell, it does look very delicious. Let, let me taste it and see. Mm. Oh gosh, this is just like in Europe. I must say, it's so fresh, it's so good. Wow, mm. so delicious. Art's Bakery really is a staple of Glendale and has an enormous amount of choice. Not only do they have good baked goods, but they also offer freshly baked flatbread called Shati Puri, which is extremely delicious. Recently, they remodeled the whole store and now they offer a couple of tables right outside the bakery where you can sit and enjoy coffee or tea along with your pastry. Okay, well, this concludes my little vlog on Glendale. This is a quiet little street here where there's a bunch of uh, quaint little houses and cute little places. As you can tell, well, this is not the heart of Hollywood. It's not the biggest places with the biggest buildings and stuff like that but it is a quaint little suburb and there's a lot of stuff to do it's very clean people are kind you can eat shop also buy cars right here so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video so please be sure to subscribe hit the like button and also leave me a comment and let me know if there's other places here in glendale that you'd like me to explore and i shall do so have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye